Okay, back in February, I said the ostensible fact-checking website PolitiFact was dead. I think PolitiFact is giving up. This is so bad. This is so egregiously bad that if they do not correct this one, I think we can safely assume that PolitiFact, for all intents and purposes, is dead. They are over. They are over and out. I'm here to rate my own statement false. PolitiFact is not only not dead, PolitiFact continues what can only be its real mission, which is to supplant to actual fact-checking, to silly the whole concept of fact-checking as a meaningless brand, and to thereby change the meaning of the word fact in the English language. Politico lives after death like a zombie eating our national brains. Case in point from this week, PolitiFact, the fact to be checked. Anti-abortion group says Obama White House screens unborn babies. Said anti-abortion group this week claimed, quote, the director of the White House Visitor's Office, Ellie Schaefer, today distributed an email newsletter which gives detailed instructions on how to register an unborn child, a baby that has not been born, as Schaefer puts it, into the security system that is employed to arrange White House tours. It quotes her saying, crazy as it must sound, you must include the baby in the overall count of guests in the tour. Now, this generated much excitement on the right, including at the conservative website funded by Rick Santorum's billionaire, Foster Freeze. They headlined a story, White House, abortion okay, but visitors must register unborn children. Also, there was the Washington Examiner, which started its piece saying, you can't make this stuff up. Actually, yes, you can. Uh, PolitiFact did the fact-checking of this claim. They called the White House to figure out what the policy in question here was. Uh, they got the following response from a spokesperson for the Secret Service. Quote, this refers to a pregnant woman providing information for a tour in the future that will include the new family member. So, for example, when a seven-month pregnant woman is providing information for a tour that is four months in the future, there is a placeholder for the new baby. So the White House Visitor's Office is not, in fact, counting one pregnant woman as two visitors. The baby does not count as a second guest until the baby is born. PolitiFact, PolitiFact says that, that the national right to life, quote, um, here, was, was the, the national right to life was, had wildly misconstrued the White House email here. So, so PolitiFact found this fact. They checked this fact. They found this fact to be false. They said it was wildly false, in fact. PolitiFact's rating here, they called it mostly false. Mostly? You can get something, quote, wildly wrong and still only be mostly wrong about it? What does it take to get a false rating on PolitiFact? False as in you got it wrong. False as in you really wanted the White House to be doing something that the White House was not actually doing. So when you said they were doing it, you were, um, wrong. You said something wrong, false. Is it true, PolitiFact, or is it false? Oh, you found it false? So your rating is mostly something? PolitiFact, God bless you. You are not dead. But every time your trademarked truthometer points at something, something dies in this country. Go away, PolitiFact. Don't go away mad, just go away.